Well, although some forms of live entertainment are allowed under Governor Sisolak's directive, karaoke is not. 8 News Now reporter Kate Houston spoke to the owner of a karaoke bar about how these guidelines are really slowing down their business. Karaoke has been a staple at Dino's Lounge for 25 years, and now the stage behind me stands empty, and the owner tells me it's crushing her business. Typically, each karaoke night at Dino's would bring in thousands of dollars. This February, Dino's celebrated the highest grossing month they've had in nearly 60 years. That's what we've built on this entire time is like we are karaoke. I mean, if you search karaoke Las Vegas, I mean, Dino's comes right up. To keep her customers safe, owner Kristen Bartolo installed this plexiglass wall, ordered 6,000 microphone covers, and implemented strict sanitary measures. Well, I have a security guard making sure nobody's dances or they're not congregating, that people are actually sitting in their seats so that we can still enjoy karaoke safely. Now, under Governor Steve Sisolak's directive on live entertainment, karaoke singing is prohibited. Bartolo says this is closing down an entire industry, adding they should not be included in guidelines for celebrations, ceremonies, and events since they're a bar. There has to be a way to incorporate this into people's businesses that have lived and survived on it. My employees are hurting from having no income from it. Now the city of Las Vegas is issuing correction notices and citations to bars that are continuing with karaoke despite the governor's directive. Moving forward, Bartolo wants the state to allow karaoke bars to submit a plan and eventually reopen. Kate Houston, 8 News Now. Now, the governor's directive applies to all karaoke. This includes open areas and also those private lounges. The attorney general's office tells us businesses can still operate as a bar or a restaurant, but they just can't offer karaoke.